a little bit. So I'm going to be talking about driving test cancellations. But before that, if you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe button, hit that bell and get my weekly uploads every Monday of my latest videos. So let's get back to business then. There's two types of driving test cancellation that you're going to come across. And you might not have even spoke about this with your instructor. The first one is the weather conditions. And the second one is the exam is not available. So let's talk about the first one because that comes up a lot at this time of year. So it's autumn now, we're in November, it's sunny outside, it can change pretty quickly, the weather over the next few days. If it's extreme weather conditions and the test centre manager deems it's dangerous, then he's going to test, he's going to cancel that driving test and he's going to cancel the next one depending on as he gets close to that driving test time. He'll make a decision as he gets closer to the time. So you, you, you need to understand what type, of, what type of weather they're going to cancel on. So if it's foggy conditions, they're going to cancel it. If it's ice on the ground, they're going to cancel it. If it's snow on the ground, they're going to cancel it. If it's um, high winds, that's dangerous, they're going to cancel it. If it's flooded on the ground, they're going to cancel it. So these are just some examples of uh, what they're going to cancel the driving test for. They don't want to cancel it, they want you to go ahead, but they can't take you on the driving test if it's dangerous for the examiner, it's dangerous for you. So you just got to remember that. And it does, if it does get cancelled, they're going to rebook it and they'll, they'll send you an email within three days, sometimes seven, depending on how busy they are, and they're going to rebook the test for you and they'll send you an email. Now, if you've booked your driving test over the phone, then you have to contact them and find out your new test. Now, like I say, they don't want to can they don't want to cancel that driving test, but they will do for safety. But um, just say, for instance, you wake up one morning and you got your test at ten o'clock, and you open the, the curtains, it's foggy. Don't assume it's going to get cancelled straight away. If you ring up a test centre, they're going to say to you, "Well, it's too early to tell you. You have to turn up for your driving test because a couple of hours later the fog could be clear." So remember that, don't just assume it's been cancelled, still turn up for your driving test unless they've, con they've contacted you telling it's been cancelled. The other thing is um, the exam is not available. Now that can be caused by illness or accidents um, or even training courses or a strike. Uh, these are all things that can crop up where the exam is not available. And um, it could be that exam on that day, he's, he's got up and he's ill, he's contacted the test centre, I'm sorry, I'm in bed here, I'm not going to make it in, I apologise. That test centre manager has got to look at that person, that examiner's test, and contact that, the, each person on that test on that day and tell them they've, they've all got the test cancelled. What will happen also is you're going to get your test rebooked and you can claim for out-of-pocket expenses. And I'll put a link at the bottom if you're one of them people that has been cancelled. So if your test has been cancelled within three days of your driving test, that's three working days by the way. So if you've got your test on Friday and the cancellor on Wednesday afternoon, um, you can claim for out-of-pocket expenses. And that could be the, um, it could be the instructor that you've hired for that day. It will want pain. So if you turn up on, on the day you're driving around and you walk into the test centre with your instructor and say to him, sorry, it's cancelled. The instructor still told me he's paying, so you have to pay him. You can claim it all back. And I say the forms below, if you want to, if you want to kind of check it out, I'll put a link in the description. All you've got to do is click on the link, and it'll take you straight to that page, and it'll tell you what you can claim for, and so on. Okay. Good luck with the driving test. Hopefully, it will get cancelled. Hopefully, this information is going to help you. If it does, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share the videos, and like I said at the beginning. If you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe. Take care and good luck with your driving test.